welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to try flying on another freighter out there. We sort of got an iconic shot with some stones on the table and uh, the ship out there. So let's go ahead. We've got 16 satellites. Everything seems to be good to go. Let's launch this. So we're going to get this guy in the air. Got 17 satellites, got GPS hold. Let's go ahead and start the video. Let's go ahead and take this guy up a little bit. Let's get the cables out of my way from the uh, on the go. And uh, let's take this guy up and out. And again, going out there pretty smooth. I want to yaw it back around this way. Definitely want to make sure I got video recording. And let's run it out there a little bit. In the last uh, flight episode, I had a little bit, uh, I issued return to home, and I really had to fly it back. I didn't want to return to home until I had low power, so that was rather interesting. And uh, just checking my surroundings, as people are still down there. Yeah, it's supposed to be thunderstorms today. As you can see, it's kind of cloudy weather, so a lot of people are staying away from the beach, which is a good thing. And if I stay on yaw here, I want to kind of follow this out a ways. I want to take this up. Ah, yaw stick is a little bit sensitive. I want to yaw back, make, get my target in there, and then continue taking it out. So I'm out about... Uh, Five six hundred feet. I'm up about 118. I want to go up a little bit higher. And you can see my screen here. I'm not going to really do screen recording this morning. Look at look, look at the size of that boat. Look at that little pleasure cr uh, craft out there next to the ship. Uh, it's kind of funny. Those things are just like floating cities. So I'm getting out there quite a ways. Uh, now closing on about 800 feet. And so I can actually, you know, the interesting thing, I can still hear it, and I can kind of make it out as a dot in the sky out there. Um, ship is moving fast. And I'm moving only at about uh, five, six miles an hour. I don't have this in sport mode. Again, I still haven't had really time to play with sport mode. So I'm really not sure how all that's going to work. So I want to be careful about it, especially being over water. Also, I want to take it up a little bit more so I have a little bit more glide path with regards to the water. I want to bump it out a little bit. Now, one of the things, you notice that uh, bump I just made in the video. So I've had a couple people ask, because this only has a two-axis gimbal, um, you're going to get some bumps. Now, one of the things, you know, especially when I bump it this way, because there's no gimbal to adjust, look at that. We, we have two ships in view and I'm out about 1,300 feet. I'm going to loiter there about 1,300 feet, see what happens. I'm up about 170 feet, so that's good. And just uh, kind of enjoying the view this morning. The ship's getting out there pretty quick. I wonder if we're going to get lucky and have another one come up the lake. So uh, let's yaw back around and take a look. Hey, I forgot. I haven't given Norbert a yaw party yet. So there's the... Uh, there's the bridge down there. We're looking down at the bridge. Just make sure recording. We're about three minutes into it. So this is pretty good. I need to... Starbucks coffee. It's early in the morning. One of the things I'm using the... Uh, you can see I'm using the uh, OTG setup, the USB OTG setup. This, this is working far better than um, the, uh, what do I want to call it, Wi-Fi. It's still early in the morning. Um, it, definitely, I don't have the lag. You might remember some pr prior videos where I was flying. I was, the telemetry was locking up, everything. Connecting this OSG cable, i got to do a little bit better setup. But uh, I tell you what, every day this week it's rained, and it's been really tough to get out and do some flying. So when I had this chance this morning to kind of get up, and again, you can see the, the beach is basically empty, except two people way down there, because it's supposed to thunderstorm today, so I kind of got out between um, those storms and uh, shooting some video, because you can kind of see the clouds and everything out there, uh, just kind of moving in. 
I think it's good. It's definitely going to rain uh, uh, in a little bit. And you can kind of look behind me and see the cloud fronts moving in. We've talked about the weather out here, how it gets really odd in that cloud line. Because let's actually um, do a little bit of... I want to... Um, I want to turn the gimbal up a little bit. Or maybe the gimbal's all the way up. Yep, the gimbal's all the way up. So what I want to do is just kind of do a slow yaw party and, and have you look at that cloud line over by Canada. It's quite the cloud line. I don't know if it's coming up. And I might use some of this footage for an upcoming video on, um, on pulling out color and saturation. So we're now, turn, we're now coming around looking up lake at those ships again, kind of turning around. And we'll do a complete yaw. I just love, you know, even for a two-axis gimbal, this thing has really good potential. Um, you know, I was expecting it to be more like the up air. And this is definitely far better than the up air's uh, gimbaling system. DJI really just outdoes themselves. There's the mouth of the Black River. We've flown up there with the Phantom 3 a couple times. We might, be, might, might do a little bit of exploratory flying up there. Uh, now, it does take it a little bit of, uh, of time in buffering to, you know, in its motions because I'm pushing the stick. Well, that was a pretty quick push, so that was for you, Nubert. Um, but see, if I roll it around, it does actually get going pretty good. You can really get that yaw part going. Look at that. Uh, but you can also get it if you just, you know, easily push it. Now, there is some jerking in, in the motion of the copter and because there's no gimbal to dampen it. Obviously, you have a little bit. So I'm now about six minutes in. We've got uh, we got some views of the bridge down there. Uh, I want to take it up. Let's take it up a little bit more. Let's see. Let's see. Get it up around 200 feet or so. Take it up around 250 feet. Let's go a little bit higher. Let's shoot for about 300 feet. There we go. We got a nice view of the bridge there. We got a nice view of the bridge down lake. You can see the uh, Fort Gratiot lighthouse, all that uh, down there. So actually pretty good. So uh, I'm out there a little bit further than last time. So one of the things I'm going to work is I'm going to start bringing it back towards home. So I'm just uh, capturing a a little bit more video um, before I hit my return home because I'm at about 38% on battery and I was pretty close on the battery last time so I'm definitely going to number one now start dropping this a little bit in altitude to kind of save it and then well let's see I want to aim it back towards me I'm that little dot there on the beach so I want to aim it back towards me I want to start bringing it down, bringing it back in and down. There's the ships out there just making sure everything is copacetic around me. Those people left. I've actually got the beach all to myself on 4th of July weekend. Uh, that's what you get when you get thunderstorms. So I'm coming in. I'm still doing pretty good on power. I'm coming up pretty close to the 30% mark. <clears throat> so I just get a kick out of it. I, I love Never Mind Your Own. Uh, the Dutch guy flies that Phantom 4. Uh, he does some pretty crazy stuff and he kind of pushes the limit. Now I'm, I'm on low battery. So it's now told me I'm on low battery. I'm within a thousand feet though, so I'm pretty comfortable. I'm still pretty high in. And. Uh, I'm coming down to around 125 feet, and I'm only about uh, 75 feet out, and I need to kind of yaw it back around towards me and bring it in. I am going to try, before I hit the official, I'm going to try return to home and land. So let's see if I, I get the actual... Because I'm at about 120 some feet now. I've issued the return to home, but it's it's not really returning to home. I don't understand that. 
So I hit return to home. I slide the lever. Okay, now it's returning to home. Why didn't it do that the last time? I really don't know, folks. If you know why this is acting up on the return to home, let me know because uh, I'm still above uh, minimum altitude. Is it? Okay, so I'm all good there. There it is up there. So it's actually returning quite fast. I still got some pretty good battery. I'm at 17%. This is the one thing, folks, about this. After th after it, it, the lower it goes, the faster it depletes. So I, I, I'm depleting over a percentage a minute easily. And because as I initiated it as at 17, I'm now at 15. And it, it drops fast. I'm at 14. Uh, so it, it'll run out really fast. Don't think that this battery measurement is a linear function. I'm now down to 13. And I'm going to want to move this over a little bit. See if I can get another table landing in here. Let's see if I can get her down on the table. And I should be good. I want to save out the video. Video saved. Look at that guy hover. This thing is just phenomenal in its hover. And I'm still using the prop guard just to be on the safe side. Let's put it over here and let's bring it down. All right. So we've now landed it. Exit visual. Uh, battery only has enough for return to home. So, hey, I tell you what, this is actually a pretty cool flight with this guy. So, again, very happy with this uh, guy. One of the things I want to mention, even though the beach is empty out here and everything, when I'm flying around the potential of people, uh, because, you know, people could just come in and, you know, without, you know, me being aware or whatever. That's one of the reasons I fly with the pop prop guards is if this decides to come in hot or something uh, in this type of setting, I know at least there'll be some protection if it wants to do something crazy having those prop guards. With no prop guards, you know, you're going to be exposed to these. Now, this is obviously not going to be as bad as a Phantom or something like that, but still, again, in this kind of setting, you don't want that type of problem. So, anyways, uh, again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We got another great ship. They're still way, way out there, so that's a good one. I don't hear any more comments, so, anyways, subscribe button's going to be coming up. Let me know in the comments what you had for lunch or what you're thinking. Um, and, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.